Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah if you're new here and I'm so happy you're watching this video today. On this channel, I do all kinds of videos surrounding girly and feminine lifestyle, beauty and fashion. So if that's something you're into, definitely subscribe and join my girly family. I would love to have you. So today we're bringing it back to old school YouTube and I know I say that all the time, but seriously, I love these videos so much. And thank you so much for requesting this video. If you have a video you want me to do, I always do my video requests all the time. So definitely leave any requests down below in the comments and I will be sure to do that for you. So this video is going to be my girly spring favorites of 2022. I do just want to put a little disclaimer on this video and say that this video is not sponsored, but some of these products were sent to me for me to try out and this is 100% my opinion and yeah I would not talk about something that I'm not a million percent in love with I split this up into a few categories so the first category we're going to be talking about is beauty define me fragrances sent me some of their most popular perfumes and I've been loving the Kahana one it smells so good it's seriously my summer scent right now it has notes of coconut and it literally smells like the beach I love it so much and can we talk about the bottle and how cute the bottle is it's so cute I love the butterfly on it and I think it's so cute on my vanity the bottle reminds me of Taylor Swift's debut album it just screams Taylor Swift to me so I love it so much the next item I'm going to be talking about is Paula's Choice BHA exfoliator and I already finished this bottle but I'm planning on buying a new one soon I haven't gotten around to placing another order but I love it so much if I don't use this I feel like my skin isn't 100% clean like I cleanse twice so the first thing that I do if I'm wearing makeup I'll take a micellar water or a oil based cleanser and like wash my face with that and then that removes my makeup and then I'll cleanse again with my favorite cleanser the oatmeal cleanser by sweet chef and I'll cleanse my face with that with my Duval spin brush which is another favorite but yeah I'll cleanse my face with that and then I'll I'll do the BHA and stuff still comes off my skin so that just goes to show how well that works and how well it cleans your face so I've been loving that the next thing I've been loving recently is Vaseline and I know that sounds so basic and so like not like it's nothing special but to me it's special <laughs> I love it so much. Lately, I've been loving it more than chapstick, and I feel like that's just because I find that I apply it less often throughout the day, whereas chapstick, I feel like I'm always reapplying it, like, every two seconds, so I love my Vaseline. <laughs> the next beauty favorite that I love is my blush from Jill Stewart Beauty. I freaking love this so much. I just love the colors in it. It matches so well with my skin tone, and I love how bright the pink is, but not, like, blinding bright, if that makes sense. I find it very comparable to the Adeline Morin X Tarte palette that like the blush that she has in there It's like very comparable to that and I've been loving it so much Not only is the product so good, but the packaging can we just take a moment? I love me some good packaging this packaging makes me feel like a princess and I love it so much and I've been using the blush brush with that and it makes me feel like a princess every single time I use it and yeah I love it so much. I've also been really loving the eye jelly. It's like this rose gold eye jelly and I've been looking for a rose gold like eyeshadow for a really long time and this one is probably my favorite just because of how sparkly it is and how easy it is to apply. Like I don't even have to use a brush. I literally just use my fingers and it works incredibly. It's an everyday eyeshadow for me. I don't even know if you would call it an eyeshadow. It's more of like a jelly, but it looks like an eyeshadow and I just love it so much. If you watched my last video, I did a makeup tutorial using it. Same with blush and yeah, I've just been using those two products every day. The last beauty favorite I'm going to be talking about is the Yonka Paris toner. I've been looking for a toner that actually works. <laughs> And I feel like the last toner I used was the Kylie Jenner Milk Toner, I think it's called. And that one is good, but I just feel like it didn't really improve my skin at all, to be honest. And I didn't really see a difference using it, but with this toner, I've only used it for like a few weeks now. Actually, I've been using it for like over a month now, and I've already seen a huge difference in my skin. My skin is brighter, 
smoother, more glowy. Like it just brings a youthful glow and a natural glow to my skin. And I've just been loving it so much. The toner is made for dry skin, which I don't have dry skin, but typically my skin loves extra hydration, even though it's oily. So even if I use products that say it's for dry skin, my skin loves those products. Like I never really break out if I over moisturize my skin. So I really love the toner. It's not too over powering as far as like making my skin more hydrated but it's the perfect amount of hydration and the next category is fashion which is my favorite category so let's just talk about mini ruffle skirts let's talk about the obsession that i have started within myself for the past year i bought a few airy mini ruffle skirts and i think that's what's really started it first it started out with two airy ruffle mini skirts and then it started out with three four and then now we're like building our way up to like 10 at this point but yeah i've just been really loving these ruffle skirts my favorite right now is this green floral one and this is the same skirt i wore to new york the very 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 first time i ever visited new york city i wore this and it just reminds me of new york and i really love clothes and like accessories that remind me of a certain place because it just brings me back to those memories that I've had. And yeah, that one is definitely my favorite, but you can never go wrong with just the plain white one. I love it. I recently got these bow earrings from Target. I wasn't really planning on buying anything, but you know Target, they always get you somehow. And they got me with this, so they were $5 though. They were on clearance. And I think the original price was $10, so I got them for half off. And I recently wore them. They're definitely statement earrings so you definitely have to like dress up to wear these but regardless i love them and i feel like these would be so good for any outfit like they really go with so much and i guess you don't necessarily have to wear them for dressing up but i did and it just really ele elevated my whole outfit and i just i just love them i love bows i can't get enough of bows and i don't think i'll ever will so the obsession is not going anywhere the next thing that i love so much is this rose quartz bracelet. I wear this all the time. And I love rose quartz just because it attracts love, self-love, relationship love, all the, all the love. And I just love it so much because I feel like it goes with so many of my outfits. And even if I'm dressing up, I still wear it. I just love it so much. It's from an Etsy shop, which if I'm able to find it, I'll link it down below. I got this like two years ago. So it's been a long time, but I love it so much. And it just gives me all the good vibes. The next category is health and it's a very small category because I only have one thing in this category but recently Liquid IV sent me some of their products to try out and I was really curious to try them out because I've heard of this brand for so long and I've always wanted to try their products and so I was so happy when they reached out to me so thank you Liquid IV for sending these products over. I have tried the passion fruit flavor which is so good and if you guys know I live in Arizona which is like the hottest state ever it gets to like 120 degrees in the summertime maybe 125 if it's like super hot so i'm always looking for ways to hydrate even in the winter time always looking for ways to hydrate and i love electrolytes i recently have finished this whole like container of electrolyte powder so that's gone so i was looking for a new product and when they reached out it was just like fate so i've been loving the liquid iv products and i heard about them first when i was in costco because i know that they sell their products in Costco and my boyfriend has been telling me about them for so long and telling me like you need to get this you need to get this because we've been having problems of me being dehydrated so this just solves all those issues and yeah I've been loving their products so far they're so easy to use and so accessible I put them in my purse and throw them into my water bottle whenever I need that extra hydration and if you guys are interested in trying liquid IV and their products I have a discount code right here on the screen Sarah K Baird for 25% off the entire liquid IV website and yeah thank you liquid IV for sending over the products if I'm gonna mention something I'm gonna try to give you a discount so there you go last category which is 
my second favorite category, maybe my first, but I already said fashion was my first, so this one is a close second, is music. I love music so much, and I've been loving Gabby DiMartino's new album, Paintings of Me. Let's just talk about this album for one second. I have a few favorites, so the songs that I've been really loving on this album are Welcome to My Life. I really love this song just because it's just a self-love anthem, and I really love the lyrics because it's basically a song saying I like me the way I am and if you don't that doesn't affect me and I just love that message that one is probably my number one favorite off the album I also love wish like I feel like I relate to that song so much especially with like being a youtuber and making content online thankfully I haven't received any hate but I know that there is a lot of haters online and there's a lot of like trolls and all that but in my eyes I feel like if you focus on love and giving out love that love will come back to you and so yeah I just really like the song and the message and I think that it's a really beautiful song and I feel like if something makes you happy you shouldn't really care about what other people say about it and yeah the next couple songs I love are Elevators, Beautiful Mess, and Romeo. I have to flex on Romeo just because she says Arizona in the song and I just feel like I can relate to it more. <laughs> so whenever it comes on, I always dedicate it to my boyfriend because it's such a cute song and I love it so much. The next album that I've been loving is a really random album and it's the Princess Diaries classical album. I love listening to classical music in the shower. I know that sounds weird, but especially at night, like when I take a shower at night, it just calms me down and it puts me in the best mood and it, it makes me feel like a princess. Like it makes me feel like I'm in Bridgerton when I'm showering and listening to classical music. The Princess Diaries classical album chef's kiss i love it so much so that was all my spring favorites for 2022 i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you back with another girly video bye okay so there's an issue they didn't give me my extra fries